Hello everyone and welcome back to Calling All Cooks. If you like sweets, you definitely don't want to miss this show. I'm heading to Patterson, New Jersey for some really sweet treats. Here we go! I'm here with Abdallah. He's going to be able to show us around. Sure, absolutely. Please, I want to know about all the space. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Here, so let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Where should we start? This is like the authentic baklava hand stretch filo. What is the difference between these two? Uh, this is more like we call it a Turkish baklava. Turkish okay. style. It's a little darker, as you can see, but it, it also it made with uh, pistachios as well. This is also uh, another version of Turkish baklava. This has. Um, layers and layers of pistachio between the filo dough. Over here, it's only in the center. There's like two layers, one on top, one in the bottom, and filling in, this, in, in the center. Uh, but this has like layers of, uh, you know, granulated pistachio on each layer of the filo dough. Okay, you know you're teasing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to try it. I have to try one. Go ahead. May I? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll start here. Yeah. Thank you. And as you can see, it's not that sweet. It's uh, it's not soaking wet. It has some sweetness to it, but it's also at the same time it's a little dry. Absolutely delicious. This is also another form of baklava. We call these uh, like ladies' fingers. Uh, you know the same thing. This has uh, walnuts inside, and this also the same version of this, but this is like rolled like a roll with uh, granulated pistachio in between. Okay. Uh, this we call. Uh, Basbusa shamiya, it's basically made out of farina and coconut. My mom used to make this. Yeah. And then you and pour then, uh, the sugar? sugar? Uh, yeah, once you bake it, then you add the sugar syrup to make it sweet. Okay. Um, this is called halba. It's, it has some kind of seed. It's called fennel Greek in English. It, it's a healthy seed, and we make a, you know, a basbusa out of it as well. On this side over here, we have a very good uh, variety of mamun. Mamun is actually um, cookies filled with dates walnuts or pistachios and it's uh, the, the, the crust itself is made out of uh, farina farina and, and uh, butter are these all palestinian uh, pastries this is actually a, it's a big thing in the middle east okay in in, in, in syria and lebanon in, in, in palestine and jordan and also uh, a lot of parts of the middle east but like mainly in these like four countries this is like what do we call okay. meaning the uh, this is all for uh, festive occasions, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it, this is like something everybody grew up with, right. you know, and we, they, they, it's part of our culture. Right? This is what we call a bird nest, uh, a oh, big version of it. I have to pick up one. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. light, it's crispy, and it's, it's full of nuts. That's a work of art. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know, it's, everything is handmade over here, you know, it takes time, but it's uh, just like you said, it's a piece I, of art. I can see you have some serious passion to this. It's uh, like uh, some cooking. sort of uh, mabruma, you know, it's filled with pistachios, but we, we have it in the shape of a triangles. This is something we only mabruma do... Should, so they know it's rolled. Yeah, the mabruma is rolled, but this yeah. is like a triangle. This right. one, actually, this was named after King Faisal when he visited Jordan back in, uh, years ago. Uh -huh. And they wanted to do, the, the pastry chefs, they wanted to do something different you know, to introduce to, to the king of Saudi Arabia. So they called it Faisaliyat, based on his name. His name is King Faisal. Uh -huh. So they yes. called it this Faisaliyat, and the name uh, went on for generations, uh, you know, one after the other. And, uh, you know, it's the shape of a triangle, and it's got, you know, uh, pistachios on the inside. This is the traditional Kunaf uh, and The crust is strictly made out of flour, but it's uh, nicely roasted and, and, and oiled. And after that, we add the cheese to it and we cook it. And the way we cook it, you know, we cook it on one side and we, after it's done, we flip it upside down and we add the sugar syrup to it. And it's, it's just had a food color to it. This is a big thing in the Middle East. Uh, everybody basically, it's a, you know, a very traditional dessert. Uh, 
Everybody likes it. Everybody basically grew up with it. Uh, in Lebanon, they, they eat it in the morning as, as a breakfast sandwich. They actually put it in a pita bread and they eat it for breakfast. But the, the rest of the Middle East, they eat it you know, on a plate. And we, uh, we yeah, keep it so here nice and warm on a steam table. I know your, uh, your brother is about to cook a new one. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, right? you know, so we, we'll we, keep it, we keep it coming, you know, every like 10, 15 minutes, depending on the action and the, uh, how busy it hey, gets. Rosie, this just came out of the oven. Uh, you should Ooh. try it. Thank you. It's called basbusa with kishta. Oh, basbusa uh, with kishta, yes. This is uh, farina with cream. Yes. Basbusa. With basbusa, it's farina yeah, made out of farina right. flour. Yes. And it has cream in, uh, in the middle. Okay. And, uh, uh, they have to uh, see this. Yeah. This is still hot. It just came out. Be, be careful, it might be too hot to the cream. Heaven on a plate. It's good. It's very good. Enjoy. Alech Enjoy. Alech. Saha. So, what is your brother doing here? My brother is uh, making the dough for the knafa. Ah. Which, uh, the dough, it's, um, it's like a liquid form. We put it in uh, this like a bucket which has uh, almost like 25 holes in it, and uh, it comes on uh, like a big hot plate, and it rotates. And what happened is like this comes down to uh, to another tray, but it's cold, and you take it and you put it on uh, on a tray. And basically that's uh, for uh, both Ajina Nama and Ajina Krishna, the same same way. Huh? Ajina is the, the, the dough for the uh, tulafa and actually it's after the, farina. the final the final process is something like this. Uh, yeah. it's something like this. It's really uh, and like it's it's a you know dough doughy flour, you know. Cheese, it's uh, three kinds of cheese. You know, we have uh, salt cheese, Spanish cheese, we have mozzarella and we have cheese we get it from Jordan. Basically, you spread the cheese. When we cook this, we cook it on that open flame and up over there, like the same thing we have that uh, rolled up. And once it's done, we just flip it. So basically, this will be the bottom, and that's the top. This looks amazing. This is what it's, the knafa looks like. And this is the syrup. We have the syrup in there. Obviously, I have the best job in the world. Uh, <laughs> Working with you today. Okay. Yes. So what you do is you get the knafa and I see it in the knafa. The cheese has to look like this. See how it is? You have to melt, be melted and string. You know? I have to take a bite of this one. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this, this, one, this is yours. This one you Thank you so enjoy. much. Wow. Yeah, be careful. It's hot. Look at that. Cheers, everyone. Shasan, hey Razi, thank you so much no problem, no for that beautiful accommodation. No problem. You guys are absolutely amazing. No problem. I know your brother uh, had to run. Please extend my uh, thank you and gratitude. And you have an amazing operation over here. Thank you, Razi. You always welcome back, you know, and um, you. you know, anytime. Thank, Thank you so much. No problem. No Guys, problem. No problem. If, we, if we ever in the area, make sure to visit Shasan and Abdallah, my friends now. Nabla Sweets. Nabla Sweets, it's exactly. Yes. You can definitely yeah. sense their passion for baking. Thank, Thank you. you so much. No problem. And I'll no see problem. you soon. See you, inshallah. Take inshallah. care of yourself. Bye. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye.